Okay, sports fans, here we got another night and another day and all those sort of things. We're going to do another boot review. Now, I promise we have some tanks to unbox. We got some airplanes to talk about. We got all those things that you know and love. But we've been kind of hung up on boots lately. Guess this is kind of our thing we're doing lately. All right, tonight we are talking about the Tacovas Emmett. This is a full quilt ostrich boot and it's got a distressed or an antique white top on it. I don't know what they call it. And this is a good looking boot. What do you think of this one, Adam? I like it. What do you think of this one, Josh? That was my favorite. That's your favorite. You like this better than your Williams? Yeah, I, I don't know. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's a toss-up. It. Right. It's a toss-up. Yeah. Sure. You always like the... the the ostrich. ostrich just sets me off. I don't know. I like the full quill and that stupid nice shine. And Yep. Oh. Yeah, these are good looking boots. There's no doubt about it. These look like they're well made also. Now, should we go through the tick marks and see what we got on here? Yeah. This is a full quill ostrich boot. It's fully wrapped. Mm -hmm. As you can see that on the vamp cover. See the vamp? It's got a one-piece wrap around on, on your counter, and it's got a 12-inch shaft with an inch and a half fully leather, real leather stacked heel. heel. And it's more like a roper heel almost. It's not a cowboy heel at all, but it's a, but this is considered a cowboy boot, but it's a square, square toe boot. And it's a, broad, a wide square toe. And um, it's just like all the other Tacoma boots. Now, this comes with the full leather things, and now Josh has added this uh, sole savers on this. This is an aftermarket uh, Vibram sole he put on here, just so uh, we're starting to do sole savers on a lot of our shoes because it saves the soles. You know, you have these leather outsoles on them, and they, you know, they, they're good looking to do that, but... These are very durable. It costs about 40 bucks to put that on a pair of boots. And um, so you've had these put, these didn't come with it, did it? You had to put these no, on. Yeah, we put them on. Yeah, we put them on. So anyway, all right, it's got this nice white uh, leather shaft. And in the picture, you can't see where it's antique on it. And that, the, the picture doesn't do this boot justice. I think it's a lot better looking in person than it is with in um in the photograph there, don't you? Yeah. It's got the fully calf line, I almost call it baby butt calf lining in there. That just feels just wonderful. And the, as you can see, going all the way down in there, it's just a, just just cozy on your foot, I would assume. These are Josh's boots again. Uh, so these are another boots I'm jealous of. They're just good looking boots. Um, they're double stiff <laughs> weld, like the other ones he has, which means they're really durable. But you also, if the, in the unlikelihood that these <laughs> soles are going to wear out in our lifetime, because you got the sole savers on here, you can change them out and, and uh, repair these boots without ruining the, the vamp or the counter or the shafts. So these are good boots. Um, Tacovas does all the tick marks. They what they've done is they go what all high quality boots do. But you can't see it too good. Now just imagine if you will, this this soul saver's not on here. We got the full leather, hardened leather outsole, and it's got the brass and lemon wood pegs here. And uh, it's just a really nice boot, so you just Tacovas does a really good job on building a, a good boot. Uh, if you bought a Casey or a Chisos or something that does the higher brands, or, there's a dozen. I can't ever think of the higher end brands because, because I kind of stop at a certain price point. Now, these are not inexpensive. These run $600, $595. But in comparison to other boots, that's a bargain. Mm -hmm. So you're buying a 
top grade leather with all the earmarks of high end custom boots for 600 bucks. Tacovas does a great job. What do you think? I think they look great. Um, obviously, they hit all those quality tick marks. I'm curious where you would rank these. Obviously, they're not yours, so you don't wear them. But where do these rank on looks compared to the other boots you've interacted with? All these are pretty darn good. I'd probably say third, maybe, in my personal opinion. Okay. Now, we'll ask the owner of these boots. Where do you rank these in all the boots that you've been associated with? Number one. Yeah. For looks, for sure, number one. You like the number one. I think I like your, your Williams better than this. That's just my personal opinion. I just think that mm -hmm. dark pecan Williams is a good looking. Do you like these better than your own ostriches? Your full quill? No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, and I'll tell you why. I like a little bit dark. Josh, I'm not speaking for Josh, but he's said this multiple times. He likes the lighter color ostriches. Mm -hmm. Mine are a little darker. They're they're a, a called grain. They're not even as dark as the pecan, uh, you know. But uh, uh, I have a set of um, what are they called? Dukes or Lukes or something. I don't know what they're called. But they Dukes. They're Dukes. the Dukes. Yep. Yeah, and they're they're. Uh, I don't know. I would I would say these are equal to. Okay. Yeah, I I would rank them equal to. Yep. I'm not going to say these are better or worse, but I I think uh, I think I like the Emmets the best. I like my Coles probably second best. Now we're talking about looks wise, not right. feel wise. I can't attest by these. How do these feel to wear, Josh? Oh, they're my most comfortable. For some reason, they're more comfortable than my uh, Williams or the Sharks. Yeah. Out of all of the boots, they're probably the most comfortable. Yeah. What model number are your Sharks? Quintons? Quintons. Yeah, you, you like those Sharks, too. Well, that's Yeah, for one. sure, but yeah. they're not the full quill ostrich. Yep. All right. So these are your number one boots, look-wise and wear-wise. And then... Um, Looks wise, I think these would tie for third with my own. Your own personal ranking. My own ostriches. I just think they're a good looking boot. Tagovas does a good job, and unfortunately, we sit and buy a lot of Tagovas boots. I try to buy other boots. I bought some Rujos. I like okay. No, I like my my I like my Python Rujos a lot. Mm -hmm. But whether these, I think I like my ostriches better than my Pythons. That's a tough one. Do I like the pythons better than my ostriches? Well, I guess what day of the week it is, maybe. Yep. If the if got a full moon or not, you know. Where is the tide? You know, have they found Atlantis yet? <laughs> I just, I don't know. I I think we got like a three-way tie on third. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I know you like the Ruho pythons probably the best, but. Yeah, I I think I think Josh's Emmett's probably come in first, and then the Ruho py belly cut pythons probably second. And then it's a wash, I don't know, after that. Yeah, well, my coals, I like my coals yeah. a lot. They're good at boots. All right, parting shots. What's your final thoughts, Adam? Um, I think they're a great boot, especially if you like the like the ostrich. Um, I kind of have gone in waves of liking ostrich and not liking ostrich. Um, if you like ostrich, these are a great boot. They've got all the quality markers, um, and they've got a, an interesting style with that antique shaft. Um, yeah. Definitely, definitely quality, um, uh, but definitely for a specific aesthetic. Yeah, Josh, party thoughts? My favorite boots so far. Favorite boots so far, and that's saying a lot. That's saying Good. a lot. Okay, I like them a lot. Once again, I'm not a square-toed guy because I'm seven years old, and it turns like older guys don't like square-toed boots, especially if they're 13 double E's. All right, I love them. These are good boots. These are great boots, and I think these... Uh, for any of you guys out there looking for good-looking ostrich boots, I think these are right up there. And they're 600 bucks at Tacobas. Now, we uh, we don't have nothing to Tacobas. Unfortunately, we pay for our own boots, damn it. But we can't help it. We just like boots. Tacobas could send us some boots. But, yeah, hey, Tacobas, come on. Send <laughs> us some boots. 
I don't need some. Yeah, I don't have any yeah, boots. <laughs> yeah. You need some buffalo boots. Okay. I need some bison leather boots. Yep, okay. All right. Um, I think with that's enough said. We're just starting to wander here uh, aimlessly. So without further ado, subscribe, damn it. Bye.